Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new video, welcome to a brand new vlog, welcome to a brand new space. I am rushing, rushing, rushing. I'm currently in Baltimore on a trip. Not a fun trip, well I shouldn't say that. I'm trying to give positive vibes. Not a leisure trip, um, but I'm literally here for just the night and I have no makeup on, traveled here, took the train. Then I had to go and run errands to pick up a few things before an event tomorrow. So I'm just sweating and I'm rushing and I need to put makeup on and like the combo, as I'm sure you know, is never fun. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to the Orioles game tonight. So I'm gonna, I will share as much as I possibly can with you guys. But again, this is not for the fun of it. I should say, hopefully it's fun, but this is not, like I'm not with Mike or like my friends or my family, like this is a work trip. So I can't show too much, but I can just like try to hide my bags a bit. But I do want to show you, I'm thinking like tomorrow I'll wake up early and we can do our makeup together. Maybe we could do like a corporate appropriate makeup. But right now I'm just trying to cover the bags and add a little bit of color to my face so I look a little less dead. I will check in with you guys later tonight when I'm getting ready for bed. We, I can show you like the skincare that I packed, all that kind of fun stuff. And then we will be back in New Jersey before we all know it. Like seriously, I feel like we're here for not even, it technically like, no, it's not even 24 hours. Our train got in at 5.30, no, 4.30, I'm lying to you. And it's six o'clock. It took me that long to get from the train to pick up the errands that I had to run. I literally had to go to FedEx and pick up a deck for this meeting. Life of a corporate girly is so fun. I honestly don't even know what makeup I brought. I just threw shit in this bag and am praying and hoping for the best. I'm sweating to death. All of my makeup is sweating also. So I don't know if that makes me feel better about my situation or worse. I don't think my makeup is gonna last. It is a lot hotter in Baltimore than it is at home, but I just want to get like a little color on my face. And this mirror is like actually terrible. We'll do a room tour tomorrow because again, in case you didn't get the memo, I have no time to do anything tonight, but hopefully the game will be fun. I don't want to get a terrible seat at the game, but it looks like that is going to inevitably be my, what is the word that I'm saying? Destiny? I don't know. Is that destiny? That sounds a little dramatic for a seat at a baseball game. And also like, I don't know, what does one wear to like a baseball game with your coworkers. I just feel like one, to a baseball game period, I don't know, but to a baseball game with people that you work with, I really have no idea. It's like, they said casual, but I feel like you can't like, you can't really be too casual with it when you're at a work event. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of like old school me though, because I see, I talk to you guys about this all the time. Like the women that I see in New York City are serving when they go to work every day. But like, I would never wear like midriff shirts to work. I don't know, but I wonder, maybe I'm just old. Maybe I'm old and outdated, but does that even look any better? I don't even think this looks any better. All right, I'm gonna bring my lip gloss. I'm wearing Stone Maybelline Lifter Gloss and my lip liner is Dusty Rose. Also, my phone is on like 50%, which I'm really, really, really not happy about, but I don't know what to do. Oh, you know what will make me look better? Some brows. Some brows to frame the face and just make them look a little bit better. Ow, ow, I just pinched my skin. I'm sorry, I promise that, well, I can't actually make this promise. I was gonna say, I promise this whole vlog won't be chaotic, but I feel like most of my life is a bit chaotic, especially lately, so. Hmm. Buckle up, buttercup, you're in for a ride as usual. Does that look better? I don't know. I kind of look terrible, but what are we gonna do? I'm not like, you know, I'm just trying to look a little put together, nothing crazy. But I just like want a little color to my face, you know? I don't know. If I was going to this game with Mike, I would go like all out, but my husband is not here. So I have no one to impress, but I should put some more deodorant on. So I'm definitely gonna do that. All right, all right, all right. Let me go do that. And then I will come back to you and show you the fit before I go. Well, I can't take my mace to the game because they'll confiscate that, but I definitely need glasses oh, can i take my fan honestly i don't know i might have to take my fan but here's the fit i'll give you a tour of the room honestly i don't even know what the room freaking looks like because i literally just got here but here's the fit i have white jeans again i don't i have no idea what one wears to a baseball game that's like corporate you know um i'm in valentino crossbody because we can't bring large bags to the stadium i'm just wearing a very old 
like ruched knit kind of tank top. This is Mike's belt that doesn't fit him that he gave to me from Ferragamo. And I have my little Converse. And this is the fit. What do we think? I have Amazon earrings in. This is the look. Oh, I gotta bring a hair clip because I'm probably gonna sweat. But let me see if I can show you. This lighting is terrible. I feel like I'm at home. But this is the Four Seasons. Look, the Four Seasons. Fanciful, fanciful. I don't think this lighting is any better. I don't think this lighting is any better. And oh my God, you are so crooked. But this is the fit. What do we think? Can you see? I don't know, black and white. I feel like one can't go wrong. It's just a black and white fit. But one can go wrong when they need more than just this handbag. So let's just all make sure I have my wallet. I have my room key. I feel very chaotic and I'm sorry that I'm putting this on you, but I feel like as my best friends, this is what happens, you know? We're best friends for a reason. You need to take my chaoticness. I have my lip liner, my lip gloss. I need my phone that's charging. I need, oh. I'm gonna bring my fan. I don't know if they're gonna confiscate my fan, but hopefully they won't. And my glasses, these are from Amazon. Everything is old, nothing is new, because we all know I'm on a no-buy. I need to grab my clip and we need to go. All right, this is the makeup. Again, I don't really know if you can see. I honestly didn't even powder my face. I look like a fresh face Bambi. At least that's what I like to tell myself. But anyway, let's go, we gotta go. Um, clip in hand. I'm gonna take my water for the road and yeah, I will show you guys bits and bobs of the game, but otherwise I'll see you when I get back later on tonight. The sun will be out, it's a beautiful day. I wish I could have came down to Baltimore earlier and enjoyed the day. Honestly, I'm kind of upset because there really wasn't a wiggle room for the commuting times that were chosen for this work trip. But like my girlfriend Alexa lives in Baltimore. I would have loved to see her because I'm literally never in Baltimore, ever. I've literally been to Baltimore twice, I think. Once for a baseball game with Mike, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, and then second for Alexa's wedding. Yeah, Alexa's wedding and that's it. So I would have liked to see her. So Alexa, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. I feel really sneaky and shady not telling you that I was in Baltimore, but I didn't wanna like tease you that I'm in Baltimore because I literally have no time to see you, like literally. I got here, I'm going to the game. I don't know, what is that on the floor? Is that a bug or is that a raisin? Well, if it's a raisin, it's gonna lead to a bug. Oh, what is this? It's a raisin, but it's like the four seasons. This is disgusting that I just picked it up, but I need to throw this out. But like, where's the garbage? Okay, we gotta go. That's it, we're done. I'm done, gotta go. Jokes on me. I've literally been here for like the length of blink of an eye, literally. Went to the game last night, had a great time. I was gonna show you my little like work makeup routine, but my battery is dying and guess what? I didn't pack a charger. I don't know, like should I do this on my phone? What do we do? Maybe I should, cause my battery is literally dying and I cannot believe that I didn't. I packed and the sink is driving me nuts. The Four Seasons is really friggin' nice. I wish that I had more time here just to like spend more time here, but I'm just gonna throw my makeup on. I will give you guys like a really quick room tour and I'll show you my outfit. I'm sorry, but if you wanna see like what I brought, we can do this at a later date. I'm just ill prepared. And I'm sorry that this vlog is a little hectic. I'm tired, I'm actually exhausted. And my two girlfriends are coming this weekend and I need to like muster up the energy to like entertain and stay on because I feel like I've been on all week. You know, like work trips are not like leisure trips. It's a work trip and you need to be on the whole time. I was having this conversation with one of my coworkers before we got here and you know, I, they didn't seem to understand that, but. Okay, I have to go because I have numerous people texting me, asking me a ton of questions and I need to go troubleshoot. But this is the outfit. 
I got this dress on Rent the Runway. I purchased it. I forgot who it is, but I will link it down below because I'm pretty sure Rent the Runway still has it, but it's like the perfect summer dress. Look how cute. It has like flowers all over it. I love the blue flowers. A tie in the front. These are my, ooh, what are these? Mansour Gabriel. Mansour Gabriel shoes. I just like that it pulls a little bit more of the green out. I'm wearing my Amazon earrings, a YSL lipstick. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. And then I have this little cardigan, which let me show you what it looks like just in case it gets cold because I have a feeling it might be freezing downstairs. And then this is my Goelia little cardigan. I think it looks better without the cardigan, but I don't know. I feel like I look very like Lady of the Prairie slash Prairie Manor. But I'm wondering like if I wear the cardigan, should I tie it in the back? I don't know. But I have to bring all of my stuff downstairs. So I just, and I'm not, I'm not a good traveler without my, like I literally was going to, to leave and I almost forgot my white jeans, which I would have been so upset if I left them here. But guys, look at this view. I really wish I had more time to enjoy this view. And I wish I was here with my husband and I wish I got to go see my girlfriend, Alexa. I feel like I need to come back to Baltimore, honestly. And the train wasn't bad. So, oh, this is the room very quickly. It's bouge. Okay. So, um, this is the mess that I made. I've had a lot of coffee this morning to try and function. I slept weird. My neck and my head are killing me. This is my outfit, which you already saw. I really like this dress. I'm really glad I bought it. I'm sad the season is coming to an end though. And this is like the massive closet that I almost left my jeans in. I am a slob, honestly. My husband keeps me in line. I am out of line otherwise. Look at this little like fanciful corner. Oh, sorry. Look at this fanciful corner with a fanciful painting. It's bouge, it's bouge. I would have loved to take a tubby, but we didn't have time. We had time for nothing. There's the, I like that a lot, that's pretty. Toilet, you don't need to see that. Shower was really not that, f I'm a mess. Like a full on mess, but the room is so nice. Like, look at this, oh, oh. All right, let me do a run through, make sure I have everything and I need to get on. We need to get on with the day. It has been a whirlwind of a couple of days. Um, last time you saw me, I was in Baltimore. My camera died. I don't need to reiterate because it was literally like two seconds ago. But now it is Friday evening. It is about to be five o'clock. I'm gonna go pick up Katie and Bailey from the ferry. I'm so excited. Hopefully my friends will wanna be in my vlog so you guys can see that I have friends. Not that I care, but a part of me does care a little bit because I don't have many friends. And not that that's a problem. Honestly, I have a problem trusting people and getting along with people, but I really feel as though like me, Bailey and Katie have like unconditional love for one another. Like I can be myself around them and not feel bad for the feral human that I am sometimes, you know, you know, I don't know. I feel like we're just like women who support women and understand that, you know, we have menstrual cycles, we have bad days, we have good days and mental health, you know, plays a big part in our well-being and who we are on a daily basis. I don't know what I'm wearing. Honestly, I got this top because it made me think of Katie and I thought Katie would appreciate me or not me, but the top. Um, but if you know me, I don't like butterflies and I feel like this is very frilly and I don't know if I like it with the jean shorts. I might throw jeans on, but honestly, Mike and I were just outside. I was weeding and he was mowing the lawn. I took a shower and I am already sweating. So I'm gonna go pick them up from the ferry in a little bit. I'm gonna actually throw some makeup on. Should we throw a little bit of makeup on together? Just like a quick one, two, three thing. Again, I don't know if my friends are gonna wanna be in the vlog. So I'm trying to get a little bit of content in for you guys before the weekend commences. And like, even if they do wanna be in the vlog, I don't want it to be like too invasive. Um, but I promise I will take you, I'll take you everywhere, I'll take you here and there. So let's go. What cologne are you wearing? No. No, you smell like that with no cologne on? That's just how you smell from the soap in the shower? Um, no, I put uh, deodorant on. 
What kind of deodorant do you put on? Cologne deodorant? No. I already smell sweaty, honestly. Do I look okay? I feel like my makeup looks a little crazy. You look great. Oh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you still sweating? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I am. If anyone was wondering if I'm still sweating. Forever sweating. I look fabulous. I always look fabulous. That's so nice of you. I think it's because of my bag. school girly. Alright, are we ready? Let's go. They're so cute. You're in the way though. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, are you kidding me? Girls weekend. Okay, well, there's a bunch of cars coming that I need to be able to see. Alright, so well, they'll let us go. Let us go now. <laughs> this Fiat. Hello, come in on this side. Hello. Come in on this side. Ready? Two, Two, you know how to do it. Two, you know how to do it. Wait, I know how to do what? Oh, wait, You're really sorry. good at that. You got the light. Yeah. I'm sorry. a pro. Are we redoing it? Yeah, sorry. Okay. 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 I feel like we need to get our outfits and you need to show oh. your outfit too. Wait, but I wish you could point five it with the outfit. I bet you can. How you do but that? I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how either. I don't know how. Let me try. Wait, but show your outfit. <laughs> but with me in it. Cute. Oh, oh so cute. When's he gonna come up again? Yay. Oh, oh. I'm moving though. I think they're camera shy. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Good morning, friends. It's Monday. I woke up super early. I know I look like I just woke up, but I've been up for several hours. I've just been working, catching up on work emails. And I need to, I need to really like clean this room. So I'm gonna show you the mess that has ensued. I had the best freaking weekend. And I'm sorry that I really didn't film much of it, but I had the best time with my two girlfriends, Katie and Bailey, oh my God, and my husband. It was a blast. We had so much fun. It was so nice to just, you know, I feel like I say this with the two of them whenever I see them, but it's so nice to like spend like a long time with your girlfriends because, oh, I look insane. Anywho, I don't care. I'm so tired. I'm just like, I think I'm just like emotionally drained from life. But what else is new? This is just my permanent existence, my permanent state. But I feel like when you meet your girlfriends, you know, ever notice, like if you go out to dinner for like two hours towards the end of the dinner, you start getting into like the seriousness of it all. It's like the beginning is like catching up, like light. How's your job? What's going on? Da, da, da. And then towards the end of it, it's like, how is your mental health? Tell me all your darkest secrets. And then you guys like start getting into the weeds, but it's time to leave. So you can never fully like weed the weeds. Oh my God, it was so good. I had such a nice time. A lot of deep conversations, which I love. And honestly, it's the reason why I don't have like a lot of good friends. I just feel like nobody really, I, I don't know. I'm not good at like maintaining surface relationships. So if I consider you a friend, I feel like, or if you and far between a friend for me, just because I like to talk about like what actually matters, not, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I love talking about things and what we're all buying. But at the end of the day, I feel like you really connect with people, obviously, when you're talking about things that really impact your life. And, you know, I don't know. Anywho, I just had the best time and I can't say enough how good of a time I had. 
and also how crazy I look, but I'm working from home this entire week, all of next week. I'm so excited. And I just want to take this as like the opportunity to not only catch up on work, because I feel like working from home, I can really focus and like hone in on my actual work without getting distracted by other things in the office. So that'll be good. I feel like that will help clear my mental slate plate, just being able to tick things off my work to-do list. But also I want to declutter when I have some time we're gonna be decluttering for the next couple weeks here and there. I'm so excited because I gain an extra three hours of my life back that I don't have to be on the bus every day. I need to clean this room though. Like I have been sitting in this filth working for hours and it just gives me anxiety. What has happened? What's happened? What has transpired? I feel like, you know, I wasn't even here all weekend, but the aftermath of me packing is a disaster. weekend but I was so shy to film my friends my friends gave me the A-OK -okay to go ahead and film ourselves and it would have been so cute if I had documented more of it and I always do this where I regret not documenting and just stepping out of that box sooner especially with Katie and Bailey I feel like I can always be myself with them I just said before but oh yes did you hear that I needed my hip to pop Oh my God, I felt so much better. I get like human anxiety. It's very strange and I feel like it's a COVID thing and I'm laughing, but I journaled about it this morning and it was just like a ah, moment where I was like, oh my God, this makes sense. Like I get so much anxiety with like uncomfortable situations. Like I don't like conflict and I was never someone who avoided conflict. I feel like, you know, when I was younger, I used to be somewhat confrontational and I don't want to be that person either. I need to be in the middle. And I've mentioned this before. I just feel like I bite my tongue a lot because I just don't want to deal with that. Like, you know, like when you just don't like conflict and it makes you like, it's so strange to me. Um, not that that was what was happening over the weekend. I feel like those are two different things. I just get really embarrassed, I think, bottom line. And I care what people think, which is so strange because I was never someone who felt that way. But I only care about what people think in certain situations. It's very strange. I can't explain it to you. Anywho, I'm gonna do some Pilates because Moving my body will help me get out of this funk and I've just been working all day and my anxiety has just been up here. So I'm gonna do some Pilates. Journaling, man, it'll really like do it to ya. But also, Bailey was talking to me about maybe how I need a coach, which I think, or was it Katie? Collectively, we all came up with the idea. Well, I had no part in coming up with it. I just thought it was a good idea. But they both said I could get a coach instead of like a therapist because I don't know, I don't really wanna uncover the traumas. Like, you know, when you know your traumas and you just don't wanna open them up. I just wanna know how to better handle things in my present day and future without having to like sift through the dirt. Do we know what I'm saying? So maybe that's interesting for me. Sorry if I'm babbling. I just had a very high anxiety day. Like, I don't know what happened to me. Sunday hit, my two girlfriends were leaving. It was like sad they were leaving. I also hate leaving the beach house. We all know how I feel about this. And then I was kind of sad because I had so much fun with my friends, but like, I kind of didn't see my husband a few days before my friends came and then my friends were there and I missed like hubby time. So I don't know, um, it's um, emotional, more emotional than I like to lead on but I think stretching my body will help get my emotions out. I was watching Tati Westbrook's video today. She uploaded a video and she was so happy in the video and her happiness made me happy for a very brief moment. Like I'm talking, like it was a fleeting moment. Like she was smiling, she was laughing, she was saying she's having a great day and I was like so happy for her because I know, especially recently, what it's like to have a shit day mentally. And I was really happy for her. So I feel bad all in all that you come here and maybe I make you feel sad. <laughs> But I'm working on it. It's not funny because I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be happy. I also am coming to the realization that I want me to be happy and I need to get it together. So maybe we can all get it together together. Getting my health in check, like mentally, physically, 
spiritually and also decluttering that will cleanse me as well um but i'm gonna work out now because i need to stop talking i need to work out i need to get back to work and then i'm hoping to cook dinner for michael but i just like the cooking i don't mind it's like the picking what to cook the going to go pick up the food at the grocery store that's what i mind like i hate getting in the car and going grocery shopping and i also hate choosing what to eat for dinner and i also have come to the conclusion that a recent thing i hate is cooking my husband is just such a better cook than i am that it makes everything that i cook taste like dog crap and i'd rather eat his food honestly so i don't enjoy it hard and I'm now exhausted. Ugh. I love my new yoga mat that I showed you in my last video. I'm also really loving these protein bars. They're bear bells. I like caramel cashew. They have 20 grams of protein, 200 calories, 8 grams of fat, 18 carbs. I don't know. They're good. Chocolatey. A bit crunchy. Highly recommend and I'm just not in the mood to eat. I just need to get my protein. This is like junk protein for me because it's kind of chocolatey. My appetite has been really weird lately. So weird. Mike would say I'm a poser with my Orioles hat and I am. I don't like baseball at all so I shouldn't be wearing any kind of baseball hat but if I had to pick a team it would be the Yankees because I got to support my boo. But I got this free at the Orioles game last week, and so I'm gonna wear it to the post office. I'm going to drop off a sale that I made on Poshmark. I sold my aunt's Machino skirt. Oh my God, it's so cute, but like it's a, a size double zero. I can't fit in it. No one that I know can fit in it. So I sold it on Poshmark. So Laura, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy your, your skirt and know that I'm jealous that I couldn't keep it up myself because it's so freaking cute. It's so cute. I really, I should have shown you before I put it in the box, but I will put the link to it. Although you can't buy it. So I'm sorry that I'm putting a link that can't help you. Sorry. I'm also putting my shoes on. I feel so chaotic. I feel so chaotic today. Woosa. <sighs> but I'm taking things off my to-do list, which is always good. I just got such a slow start today. It was like one of those days where I woke up early, rolled out of bed, zombied, you know how I do, to the coffee, and then sat on my laptop for hours and hours and hours and didn't get up. And now the workday is coming to an end and I feel very lethargic. Um, but it's nice to be able to get the next three hours to myself. I got my little fanny pack on, although she like always, goes so low on me. <laughs> it like looks crazy. Katie and I went for a walk on Saturday morning and then Bailey and Mike joined us on Sunday. But on both walks, there were all these like cute, young, hip, like 20 somethings and they all had this across their chest. And I was like, you know, a bitch could, but I just, I don't find that comfortable. So fanny pack it is. Let the 33 year old shine. My girlfriends did all agree. Apparently there are people who are either a Barbie doll, a Bratz doll, a Polly Pocket doll, or a, what's the other one? Bratz, Polly Pocket, oh, American Girl doll, which I did not grow up with. I miss that whole, like, I mean, it's been around forever, but I, I miss that. I was never an American Girl doll. I did play with Polly Pocket. Was not like my number one, but I did play with her. Barbie Forever is my favorite. And I think I'm a little too old for Bratz. Like, I think I just missed that cutoff. But my girlfriends agree that I'm a Barbie doll. It was the biggest compliment I've received all month, if not all year. So, thank you. Oh, a sign from my girl Melanie on here who told me that I looked like a housewife going to, like, a face-off lunch. That was definitely... That was number one. Um, but Barbie is a very, very close section. Sec second. <laughs> I don't know. 
I feel hideous and I don't even like myself lately, so I don't know who I am flaunting. Like, oh, I'm Barbie. I wanna feel like Barbie, which is why I've been getting dressed and putting makeup on and I'm so sorry that I look like this. I kinda look like I'm getting sick and I look pale. But my anxiety, whoa, she's through the roof. I don't even think I need to say that. I feel like that's very apparent. I made a Mediterranean like Greek bowl. Elbow pasta, there's a bit of pepper, cucumbers, spinach, feta. I called for orzo, but I want an elbow instead. It's like more substantial of a pasta. And then I am lazy and I just bought Purdue chicken. The chicken that's literally cooked, you just heat it up. So that's heating up. We're just gonna have Greek bowls. Voila, quick yummy dinner. This tastes very fresh. I will link the recipe down below.